So you've decided to cut the cable cord thinking you're going to save a lot of money and still be able to watch all the television, all the TV content that you are watching now with cable or satellite. Sorry to tell you, it's not that easy. You are not going to be able to get every channel that you are getting right now. About a year ago, I decided that we would cut the satellite cord. We've been a direct TV customer for many, many years, over a decade, and I decided I didn't want to spend $160 plus on a DirecTV subscription for four televisions plus DVR. So I called DirecTV last year and said, I'm ready to make this switch. I'm going to end my subscription, cut off my service. And they said, we're going to make you a good deal. So they gave me a deal of about $78 a month for everything. And then they threw in HBO and Showtime and Cinemax and those kind of things. So, so for the last 12 months, I have had a terrific package with DirecTV Satellite. I'm getting ready to make this switch this time because once that 12-month special promotion ended, my cable or my satellite bill went $78 a month to $169 a month. When I started to do research, I found that there was no streaming service that would give us all of the channels that we want to watch. So here's what I did. I made a spreadsheet and I took a look at these streaming services. Sling TV, looked at a couple of different packages, YouTube TV, Hulu plus Live TV, Fubo, Philo, PlayStation View, and Direct TV Now. Seven streaming options at this moment. Here's some of what I found, and I hope it helps you. Let's look at Hulu Plus Live TV. Now, it's $45 a month right now and includes most everything we like to watch. CNN, ESPN, Superstations, women's programming, news channels. But it does not have Nickelodeon, MTV, VH1, or BET, and no TV land. So if you have young children, there are some notable omissions. A positive, though, about Hulu is that the live TV package also comes with Hulu original programming. Now, Sling TV has three levels of programming choices, orange, blue, and a combination of the two. Now, for a family, we're going to take a look at the orange and blue package all together, which is $40 a month. Now, most of the popular channels, including ESPN, but it does not come with ESPN U, which shows college football and basketball games through the seasons. There's also no TV Land, CMT, SEC Network, no Disney, Nickelodeon, and none of the news networks except for CNN. There's no Fox, MSNBC, or CNBC. Sling does offer a total TV package for $60 a month that does include pretty much everything, but still no Fox News or Nickelodeon. There is Nick Jr. Now, if you're a Fox News watcher, you won't be able to see it using any of the Sling TV packages. Uh, YouTube TV is a favorite streaming service for millions of people, including a lot of my friends. It's $50 a month, and it has most everything, but it does not have A&E, History, TV Land, Nickelodeon, MTV, or VH1. Direct TV Now offers several packages. I thought it would be a natural going from Direct TV Satellite to Direct TV Now, but it's not that easy. Direct TV Now has a $50 a month tier, but it does not have ESPNU or ESPN News, HGTV, Food Channel, Lifetime, AMC, A&E, History, TV Land. But it does have MTV, VH1, Disney, and Nickelodeon. Now, the $70 a month Direct TV Now package does not have ESPNU, HGTV, but it does add TV Land and you can get HBO with it. Now, Sony's PlayStation View streaming service has one of the best selections and it's just $55 a month, but... Notable omissions are A&E, History, and Nickelodeon. Now, Fubo is a new streaming service for $55 a month, but it does not have any of the Disney-owned properties and none of the ESPN channels. Philo is the least expensive streaming service for just $20 a month, but if you are a sports fan or a news person, you will not find any ESPN, CNN, CNBC, MSNBC, or Fox News, or Disney. So what is the best option for you? Well, that's a totally personal decision. You're going to want channels that, um, you know, that I don't want and vice versa. Uh, but I found that Sling TV 
the total TV package, which is pretty much everything for 60 bucks, everything but Fox News, it's probably the best deal overall. Hulu plus live TV and YouTube TV are also very competitive with the channels that they offer, and all of them are somewhere between $45 and $60. But PlayStation View, surprisingly, has some really a really good channel availability. So it's it's worth taking a look at PlayStation View as well. One other thing or two other things that you'll want to consider before you make up your mind which channels or which streaming service you want is how many people are going to be watching at the same time. All of these streaming services put have a limitation on how many streams per device or how many devices can be streaming at the same time. The other thing is DVR. Do you record a lot of shows? Do you record a series of TV shows? Each of these streaming services, they have their own package for DVRs. Many of them charge extra for DVR, and then they limit the amount of uh, space in the cloud for you to record things. Now, if all of this is confusing, you're right. It is very confusing. And I'm surprised that not uh, that so many of these streaming services don't offer certain channels. The Weather Channel, for instance, it's not available anywhere except Fubo and at the higher price tiers on DirecTV Now. All of this information I have put in a spreadsheet. It's a Google Doc, and I'm going to make that available. You can find it on this page, and you can download that for yourself to see which channels are available on each streaming service. Of course. All of this is subject to change at a moment's notice. All of these streaming channels are negotiating with other companies, with, with networks, to get their content on their service. Nearly all of these services have raised, have raised prices in the last several months. That's going to continue as they add more channels. Another thing to consider is by this time next year, we are going to have so many other streaming options. So we've got Disney Plus coming out later this year, this fall. We've got Time Warner. They've got their own thing. We've got um, NBC Universal is coming out. And then, of course, next year in 2020, uh, Apple is going to have its streaming plan. So all of this is going to change. This is by no means uh, a decision that you have to make right this second and stick to it. That's the great thing about all of these streaming services. No contracts required. Keep checking back here at whatthetech.tv. I'm going to continue to put up a blog post where it applies to cord cutting. This is a uh, one of the biggest consumer technology stories of our lifetime is the how, how uh, people are going to be watching television, movies, and other video content um, differently than we have ever watched it before. We have never had this many options to watch television. Lots to consider. If you're going to be cutting the cord, you don't want to miss any of this information. I hope this was helpful. I've got about a week before I have to make the decision of whether what I'm going to do when I drop satellite television. And at this point, haven't decided yet. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you next time.